Hello guys, William Agnew here. Welcome to another training here at Cellular Repair School. The repair we're gonna be talking about today is the uh, backlight repair on the iPad mini, which happens quite often. And typically guys, it happens very often during a repair. Um, the typically, I'd say 90% of the time is gonna be uh, because of your backlight fuse. There's a fuse, a uh, little blue fuse uh, that we're gonna be looking at. And many times, if your order of operation in regards to disassembly and reassembly is not correct, then many times what will happen is you will get a voltage drop with a current surge as soon as you plug it back in. And that current surge, what happens is it blows your backlight fuse. Um, it's, 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 to give you an analogy, it's kind of like a light bulb, right? If you've ever seen a light bulb blow when there's a power surge, it's kind of the same thing. If you've ever seen inside of a light bulb, it has this little connection. It's almost like a fuse and it's what illuminates. And what happens is if there is a power surge, a lot of times that thing will blow. So it blows, it blows and it disconnects the current. So now there's no current, there's an open. So the light bulb doesn't illuminate. Well, this is kind of the same thing. What happens is when you unplug that battery or don't unplug that battery and you unplug the LCD or the digitizer and you plug it back in, you've gotten a voltage drop right across that, um, that fuse. And then what happens is as soon as you uh, plug that LCD back in, you get a current surge and it blows the fuse. So I'd say 90% of the time, it's a bad fuse that's causing that backlight issue. It's when you have a, it's dark. It's almost as if somebody had taken the settings and taken it all the way down to dark. You can barely see the apple, but every time you plug in and plug and unplug and plug it back in, it's just dark. That's a backlight issue that needs a backlight repair. Now, what we're gonna show you guys today is how to remove and replace. You have two options uh, for this repair. Um, and in our training, guys, we talk about the difference between repairs and reworks quite often. Uh, repairs have to do with functionality. It doesn't have to look pretty when it's repaired. It just has to function. That's kind of your definition. That's a, a dirty definition of what a repair is. It's about functionality. A rework is about specs. It's about repairing it, but also reworking it, right? So functionality is there, but it also has the same spec and the same condition as if it were never reworked or repaired. So it looks exactly like OEM. Um, that is rework. So it really depends on what you're, what you're trying to get in regards to what your uh, repair is gonna be. There's two approaches you can take. You can take the uh, jumpering uh, approach where you basically jumper past the fuse. So what you're doing essentially is you're taking the fuse out of the circuit and you're bypassing the fuse. Now, what is the problem with that approach? Obviously the fuse is there for a reason. It's there to protect our circuit. So if we don't put a fuse back, then essentially what we're doing is if we have that same problem where we have a voltage drop in the current surge, we run the risk of damaging our board to unrepairable, uh, an unrepairable place. Um, now, some people do choose to do it that way. That is a repair that works. It is a repair that works, um, but it's not the best in my opinion. The best is to rework it and to make it exactly like it was before. So how you can do that is you can replace it with a different fuse. Uh, just replace the fuse. So you can take that fuse out, you can house a fuse from a different board. If you have one, if you don't have one, you could purchase it from a different place, so from somebody who sells these fuses. But what you would do is you would use your soldering, level three soldering skills to remove that fuse and replace that fuse with a, with a new fuse and in hopes that it would work. Again, 90% of the time, if that fuse was working when you started the repair, if that backlight was working when you started the repair and it's no longer working and you have that dim image, 90% uh, of the time, that's going to be a backlight fuse issue. Your backlight fuse is blown, you've had a, a current surge, you destroyed the, the, the fuse, and you need to replace it. Now, what we're gonna do in this video today is we're gonna show you guys how to check that before you actually get started. So there's a way you can check to see if your fuse is actually working. It involves having a multimeter. So you can use your multimeter and you can put it on your continuity setting and you can check to see if that fuse is still good or if that fuse is not active. If it's not active, you either need to jump it or replace it. So we'll be talking about that. And we're gonna be showing you guys a little bit more on how to replace that effectively and get it to work. So it's not non-repairable, it is definitely repairable, but you have to know what you're doing and to avoid doing it again, you need to understand what caused it in the first place, all right? So this is William Agnew, we're gonna go ahead and get into that repair and I'll see you guys in the next part of this training.